Okay, so hello. We're going to be learning how to do a tutorial for smash attacks. I noticed that there wasn't a lot of tutorials for it, so I'm going to make a few over the next few days. So first you're going to open smash attacks. And what really bothers me is you can only have one smash attacks window open at one time. Otherwise, when you try to open another character, it's going to give you an error. So what we can do today is we can make Mario go to fitmario.pack wherever you have that. Open that up and we're gonna make Mario I do some animation switching because it's fairly tricky if you don't have a video tutorial. I had to learn it from scratch, it took a while. So you go to sub actions. And then specials, not what you want to switch animations for. Sub actions is where it is. So you can notice things like dash, run, they're fairly self explanatory. But let's try to change his. F let's change his taunts. Okay, so I believe taunts are 1C0, I believe. Yes, they are. Okay, so you type. Go to 1C0, it's near the bottom. Hello. And uh, this happens to be down taunt. So this is pretty good. So let's change his down taunt to his... Uh, I don't know, let's, let's do something simple. Let's just change it to his up taunt, which is, of course, making him big. So you go to the up taunt which is 1BD, go to main, there's nothing there, great, go down to graphics, copy this, select it, go here to copy, go back to 1C0, then in graphics, select everything, remove it, paste, make sure that there was also nothing in main because uh, you don't want that to be there, because in the other one it had nothing. Go back to high, Go to sound effects, which is the one below graphics, Select, copy it all, go back to 1C0, uh, remove it, and paste. You can't select it and then paste, it won't replace it, it'll add it, so remember to remove it first. Then the last one is other, you're going to copy that again, and go to low, and remove it. And paste. Sometimes if it has a go-to subroutine, it will ask you if you want to delete that subroutine, and it will tell you if you're just if you have no idea what this means, press no. Just press no. I mean, I've never pressed yes, but when I press no, it works out pretty good. Uh, so now what's really important, and what a lot of people didn't explain, I think, in the text, is that here is the animation name. It's not in here, it's not this thing which you can't change. It's right here. So you have to go to your appeal high and control C copy then go back to your appeal low and control V paste so now this is the same so if you go 1C0 and 1C at uh, 1BD they're the same animation name so you go back to 1BD and it has no transition time uh, it doesn't do anything okay so just go cancel go to 1C0 animation flags also has nothing perfect. So right now, it should work. You're going to go to File, Save As, because you always want to have the original. And I don't know, put it on your desktop. I'll just put it on my desktop for easy finding. Um, you know, name it, whatever you want. But when you put it on your SD card, I'm going to show you how to do that. You go, just fit Mario. That has to be the name. So, okay, get rid of that. When you put it on your SD card, you have to go to the actual uh, mon the Mario file, which should be in private we RSBE PF character, then Mario. And if there's already a fit Mario.pack, delete it or copy it somewhere else. Then copy this one there, 
and make sure it has no numbers. If you notice, it's just fit Mario.pack. And when you put it there, it's going to replace all of Mario's animations with whatever's on there. Right now, his down taunt is his up taunt. Uh, it should be working. I'm going to put a video of me pressing the down taunt and making it do the up taunt. So I hope you learned something. And here's the video of that. Thing. Perfect. Thank you very much.